The Hollywood writer's strike reached the 100-day mark this wow. week. Yeah, that story tops today's trending stories. It's time for a look at our hot topics brought to you by Walton Art Center. Now, the current strike matches the length of the landmark 2007-2008 strike. And I think even the worst part is that there's no foreseeable end. No. A negotiating session last week involving Hollywood studios and streamers and the striking workers ended with little progress. Television networks are a month away from starting a new fall season. It's the first dual strike since 1960, and issues at play for both unions include the use of artificial intelligence and residuals related to streaming. Yeah, I mean... It doesn't feel like it's going to impact us now. We've, we've seen a few things like, oh, maybe a movie got pushed out here right. or there, or maybe so-and-so is no longer going to be able to do this movie. But we are really going to start seeing the effects once the fall programming rolls out, especially, you know, of, if shows are, are brand new. Really how television works is they only film a few episodes right. to see if they get the green light to continue. And a lot of times those pilot episodes, maybe it's about two to three and that's it. That's it. That's so all you get. I know that networks are working kind of behind the scenes to figure out like what the contingency plans are, but we are really going to start kind of seeing some of those effects of what this means. So hopefully they can come to an agreement. I mean, the actors and writers definitely deserve their due. They work yes, so hard. Absolutely. They're, they're entertaining all of yes. us. Um, so they definitely do deserve um, their fair share. Yeah, and, and, and I feel like it's time with the AI coming on so strong. It's time now to kind of draw a line in the sand and figure out what it's going to look like. Because I feel like this will be an impactful decision for years and even generations of actors to come. Yeah, so, for sure. Interesting. Well, don't throw away your shot to see <laughs> Hamilton like you've never seen it before. The Broadway musical has landed on Roblox, turning the innovative stage uh, show into an immersive online environment for a new generation. In the Hamilton simulator, players use their own avatars as they rub shoulders with the musical uh, characters and negotiate through 10 levels set during the Revolutionary War. So it starts at the New York docks, and the goal is to free the city from British yoke. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it does even have the blessing of your favorite, Jason, yeah, writer, composer, Lynn Manuel Miranda, yeah. uh, whose blockbuster musical charts the rise and fall of statesman Alexander Hamilton. That's right. Yeah, sing it. <laughs> That's it. Yes. It's funny that we're this talking so about cool. this. Yes. I was asking my son the other day, uh, what is Roblox? Because nice. to me, it looks like Minecraft. And yep. he tried to set me straight that it is not anywhere related to Minecraft. Did you understand it? No, I didn't Same. at all. He I, was yeah, like, it's kind of like that, Dad. And I'm like, why do the guys look like they're Lego <laughs> <laughs> and, anyway, why but, they say so boxy? Yeah, why they say so boxy? Uh, I'm excited about this. Love Hamilton, so yeah. maybe this will get another generation of kiddos excited about that musical as well. And speaking of Broadway, add Angelina Jolie to the growing list of celebrities lately dipping their toes into producing. Nice. Okay. The Oscar-winning Girl Interrupted actor has become a lead producer on the Broadway-bound new musical, The Outsiders, a show based on Essie Hinton's novel and Francis Ford Coppola's 1983 coming-of-age crime drama. The Outsiders had its world premiere at La Jolla Playhouse earlier this year. The Broadway cast... And dates have not been revealed just yet, but I, lo I love this story. It's gritty. It's very, um, you know, mm. uh, recognized, okay. I think. And I don't know if it's required reading in schools anymore, but I knew mm. it was when I was a kid growing up. So. It's probably banned. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. Nobody's right. reading it anymore. Before Lionel Messi. Did I say it right? You did. Yes, I'm trying to impress you. Okay, and the Inter-Miami took on FC Dallas and Frisco this past weekend. Soccer legend David Beckham, uh, he's the co-owner now of intern uh, Miami. Yeah. He had a chance to get his fix of Texas barbecue, so he surprised uh, a local business there. So this is the owner right here. His name is Raul uh, Bagji. He's the owner of Blues Barbecue in North Dallas. He says talking to the soccer legend he watched growing up was surreal. And he also says that Beckham ordered brisket sandwiches and turkey sandwiches for his uh, friends and family. For himself, he ordered pork ribs, brisket, and pork belly. And it turns out the pork belly burnt ends were his mm, favorite. Of course mm. they were, yes. So good. If David Beckham ever just wants to show up to Good Day in WA and bring Correct. us food, yes. that would be absolutely delicious. Yes, you're, you're welcome. Yes, please.